Hi, I am Chef Vinit Bhatia, a culinary ambassador for The Great Campaign. I am here today at the Royal Lawns of the British Embassy in Dubai. And I'm going to make one of my favorite dishes, which is the English or the UK lamb chop. Now, UK has some fantastic weather and some great landscape. And the grass fields are fantastic for the sheep to graze on. And what it does, it gives its own unique and a very special taste for which it is renowned all over the world. And the best part is, the UK lamb literally melts in your mouth. I'm going to show you how you can add a twist and a little more spice and flavor to the lamb chops. This is a very, very simple marinade for your Sunday roast or your grills or the barbie at home. Please try and use that. It's based on oil and very easy to make. I first start off by adding a little oil in the bowl. In that, I add some chopped garlic. I add some ginger. I add coriander roots. The coriander roots gives it a very nice crunch and a bite. And I've got a paste here. Basically, it's a red chili and a garlic paste. It looks quite strong and red, but trust me, it's not too spicy. It's got more flavor in it. I'm going to mix that together. A good squeeze of lemon. And lastly, some salt. Seasoning is very important. It gets the best flavors out of the dish. Mix that together. And as you can see, the red color comes from the chili. But it gives a very nice flavor. It's not too hot. The chili is first blanched into hot water to remove the spiciness or the piquancy. It gives it a slight sweeter flavor actually. But it gives, most importantly, the very nice color. And then... Yeah. Now if you look at the lamb, the UK lamb, look at that. It's got a little layer of fat and look at the meat, it's nice and pink. It's extremely flavorful, it's got its own unique flavors. You don't need to add too much to it. All you do is, you massage the marinade on the lamb, on the eye part, which is the meat part. Ideally, we leave that into a marinade for a good few hours for it to soak in. You can actually do it a day before in your own homes. But I want to show you how good the quality is because I'm going to literally cook it straight away into the pan and it will actually melt, literally melt. So the marinade is all rubbed on the meat. Always try and leave a little fat on the lamb because when you cook, it breaks down and keeps the moisture intact and gives a very nice flavor to the dish. Marinade is done. All you have to do is now cook it. The pan is nice and hot. All I do now is I remove the extra marinade from the lamb chop and put it straight into the hot pan. If you hear the sound, that tells me it's beginning to cook straight away. So as soon as you put your lamb onto the hot pan, it sears the outside and it keeps all the juices and the flavors inside the lamb. And because this is young baby lamb, it's very tender it's got a very nice flavor to it. It cooks quite fast. What I will do at this stage is I'm going to just baste it with a little bit of the flavor oil. As soon as the lamb begins to sear on the sides, it begins to cook at the bottom. It becomes nice and crispy, it has a very light kind of a brown kind of a caramel color coming on the underside of the lamb. Once that is seared and the seasoning sound stops, you flip over the lamb, just baste it with a little bit of the flavored oil. You'll see that the lamb, it's got nice a caramel effect to it, it's cooked and when you press it down, it's resilient. It tells me the lamb is almost ready. This is just about medium. I'm going to lower the heat and what I'm going to add on the lamb is something very unusual. I'm going to use a classic English cheese called as Stilton. I absolutely adore Stilton. I think it's a very nice, rich flavor. I love the kind of a smokiness it has, the richness it has, and the creaminess. I think it goes extremely well with the lamb. So I'm going to just pour, or rather, I'm going to place the cheese on top of the eye, and it gently begins to become soft and melts. At this stage, I'm going to take it a step further and have some fun with the lamb. I'm going to flambe it, and for that, I'm going to use a scotch whiskey. 
I think it gives a very nice flavor, but also gives it a kind of a depth and a smoky flavor to the dish. And there we have. So once you flambe it, it gives a very nice flavor to the lamb. It also gives rounds off. So all the juices in the lamb from the pan are all bought together. And here, I'm going to switch the, the pan off and let it just slightly rest in its own juices for approximately two minutes. Okay. I'm going to serve a lamb chop with some sun-dried tomato chutney. It's basically tomatoes which have been sun-dried or rather oven-dried if you want and reduced down with a few spices. It goes very well with the lamb, has a very nice rich umami flavor to it. There we go. The lamb onto the plate. And you can see the glaze. And to finish it off, just going to sprinkle some micro greens. Now people always ask me what goes best with a dish like this and always say you need something very light, something very refreshing, something quite bubbly and still sharp. And for that I would say English wine. The sparkling English wine really works well. And all you have to do now is cut a piece and enjoy this beautiful lamb. Oh, the young tender lamb literally melts in your mouth. The spice is just complemented and the cheese takes it to a different level. So do try it and bon appetit.